Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. I'm joining you from southeastern Spain in a little village called Balula. Uh, so yes, I'm on my travels again. We left the UK on the uh, 22nd of February and we'll be going back around the middle of May. Uh, I've not been documenting in and filming and uh, making little videos of uh, this trip. I've uh, just lost my spaniel, Ellie, in November last year and it's just knocked me for six and uh, I've not felt like making videos since then. I hope to be able to uh, get my mojo back one day but it's just hit me so hard, I just, things don't feel the same and uh, I really struggle to talk about it but uh, we have such a good time on these trips and what have you that most things get etched into my memory anyway so I only made the videos for my own sentimental value really uh, they don't get many views but uh, something happened yesterday that uh, I'm never going to forget which I'll get into shortly so we just had a week in Benidorm saying we I've just got a puppy uh, well I got her in December her name is Rio and uh, she's a German short head pointer and she's black which is quite unusual but uh, you'll see her in an up and coming video that I'm going to put on this post so we had a week in Benidorm and we did all the things there and then I needed some fresh air to get out into the mountains so I visited Balula which is only about 10 miles or so inland from Benidorm and then we went up to another village called Tarbena which has got an air and it's on park for night so we arrived in Tarbena, we spent the night there, the next morning found a lovely hike, probably the best walk I've had since I've been in Spain, it was absolutely amazing, the mountain views, it was just like being on the Isle of Skye with sunshine. And uh, after the hike we got back to the van and I started hearing uh, sirens, just occasionally, and uh, also the odd plane going overhead. <clears throat> I looked outside and I could see some smoke coming from the hills, but it wasn't too much. So I uh, got back in the van, just relaxed for an hour came back out and the sky was full of smoke so I decided to walk down to the local bar where the swimming pool is uh, there's quite a few English people live in the village and so maybe I could find out some information and find out what was going on and it turns out that there was an absolutely huge hill fire taking place by this time there were so many planes and helicopters flying about there were so many sirens there were police and fire engines everywhere and down at the local bar they were evacuees from the hills, some young lad had uh, I think he'd lost everything, everybody was consoling him, which was uh, really sad to see. There was another guy there uh, I was talking to, he'd uh, been cleared out by the uh, fire brigade, the Bomberos. Uh, he was dousing down his car and his surrounding gardens with a hose pipe when he got a tap on the shoulder and he was told to leave, so he got in the car and came to the bar. There was another guy who rolled up with all his possessions, which all he could get in his car was his dog and his goat. So that brought home the seriousness of the situation to me. And I was sat there having a drink, looking out over the mountains. It's quite a spectacular place to have a drink. And uh, we all got told to get off the terrace and clear out the way because the helicopters were going to come down with the buckets and take water from the swimming pool. So fly so uh, we all mucked in and cleared the umbrellas and the tables and chairs and uh, stood inside looking through the windows waiting for the helicopters to come down we wanted to see this spectacle probably once in a lifetime thing and, uh, although it was a sad situation it would have been quite spectacular so hung around for an hour and nothing happened so I went back to the van and by this time the police they were up there in the car park, the fire engines, the, the planes were flying over the town. It was just honestly, it was like being in a war zone. Although I've never been in a war zone, it's the closest thing I've ever got to it. And I was just uh, talking to my daughter on WhatsApp. I did a video call to her to tell her what was happening. And just at that moment, one of the Guardia Civil Police came and asked me to evacuate. He said, you need to get out of here which was quite alarming because as far as I knew all the roads were uh, closed off but uh, he told me to head down towards Benidorm and so uh, I packed up, filled up with water, it only took a minute and set off down the hill and as I got to, just to the edge of town where the swimming pool is 
where I'd been sat having a beer earlier, I saw that uh, some helicopters were coming towards the swimming pool, so I quickly pulled in and made a little video, which I'll show you now, of the uh, helicopters gathering water in the rubber buckets. <laughs> When you see these helicopters out over the hills with these buckets underneath them, they just look so insignificant. You think, what on earth can that do against a monster of a fire? But there was, they were absolutely amazing, the services, the, the, the fire engines, the bomberos, the police, all the planes, they put, God, I just can't even imagine how much money it's cost to, to well, they're still at it now, and it's the day after, how much all this has cost, and what could have caused it, maybe just, broken bottle somewhere, maybe an ember from a garden fire, who knows. But I heard that the hotel had gone up, as so many people lost their homes, lost everything. And as I was carried on driving down the hill, you could see the roads uh, were lined with uh, the forces. The army was actually getting called in and that's why I had to move out, uh, because the army were coming with the big trucks, they needed the space in the car park. And so after 15 minutes driving, we got back down here to Balula. And I was looking on the news last night and uh, all the reports were saying how severe this uncontrolled fire was and uh, the towns that were endangered. So I'm pretty glad I got out, to be honest. I didn't want to stay there. How could I have slept in the van last night wondering if the fire was going to engulf the town? Uh, it was the best thing to get away. And uh, so I slept a lot better down here. So this morning I've got up and uh, the sky, you can still see the fire in the sky, the smoke, you can actually smell it. And the uh, aircraft are still flying over, the helicopters are at it at first light and the aeroplanes. So I'm just going to keep my eye on the news and uh, see what happens. But uh, please take a, a look at the video I'm going to put on about the hike that we did because uh, yeah, it uh, gives, gives, puts into perspective the beauty of this place and the surrounding areas and what's at stake and what's gone up in flames. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. When the time is right and I'm not alone I will conquer this and bring you home When this world has stopped and the breeze is served When the time is right I'll sing you a song Spirits out And you're full of doubt
sun is out I'ma hear you say That you're okay That it took some time 